This is an all-electric Ford. In fact, this is the brand new Ford Explorer EV. And let me tell you, it is not off to a good start. Ever since Ford entered the all-electric vehicle market, we all know they haven't been doing very well. Just over the past year, they have encountered major losses of over $4.5 billion. But what concerns me the most is how they plan this new Ford Explorer to make things better for them. After all, the market for electric mid-size SUVs is very saturated already, and having to compete against vehicles like the Tesla Model Y or the Kia EV6 might make you think they really have something to offer that's going to make them stand out, right? Well, not exactly. The Ford Explorer made its debut back in March 2023, with plans to hit production and be on the streets by the end of 2023, early 2024. But guess what? It's early 2024 and we're still waiting. Rumor has it, customers won't be getting their hands on this SUV anytime soon, not even by summer. I told you, they're not off to a good start. The Ford Explorer is built on the same MEB platform as the Volkswagen ID, which means it rolls on the same platform as the VW ID4, ID5, ID Buzz, also the Audi Q4 and Q5, the Cupra Born, the Cupra Tavascan. In fact, it rolls on the same platform as over 1 million other vehicles. Apparently, in order for Ford to successfully enter the European market for EVs, they figured they couldn't do it alone. So, well, they asked Europe's finest for help, the VW Group. They eventually signed a mutual contract, and now an American car company collaborates with a German one. Isn't it weird? The Ford Explorer all around incorporates various revolutionary and futuristic designs. Starting off with the exterior, the overall shape of the car gives a very nice road presence. From the outside, the shape is just right. Not too aggressive, not too smooth. The front of the car has a simple yet futuristic vibe that I really like. They kept it clean without adding unnecessary details. The absence of a traditional grille is a smart move, although this is a design trend among all the second generation of EVs. I do like how they've used the space for a sleek panel featuring an engraved Ford logo. I also really do like these two bulges in the bonnet. It just gives the vehicle a really muscular front end. The sides of the vehicle are as simple as they could get, which I very much admire. If the tires here appear very big, that's because they are. The Ford Explorer can be specced with either 19, 20, or 21 inch tires, which is also a VW thing as they want to build their EVs on big tires. Now coming to the back of the car, this is where Ford nailed it. It is super slick, minimalistic, Futuristic? Although, just like the black panel up in the front featuring the Explorer name, it reminds me a lot of Range Rover. This car is loaded with sensors all around, both in the front and at the back. If you check below the side mirrors, you'll spot extra cameras helping with the 360 view. Also down in the front, there's this tiny box providing the driving assistance feature. Stepping inside, you can't miss how futuristic and roomy it feels. It is unlike any other EV Ford has ever made. But just like it rolls on a VW platform, don't get too surprised if you spot too many VW features inside as well, like the awful mirror controls and the stupid only two buttons for controlling Ford windows. Anyway, as soon as you step into the cabin, your eyes are immediately drawn to the massive 15 inch display. It's like the pinnacle of futuristic vibes in the car. Ford kicked it up a notch with innovative design that lets you tweak it to your liking, so you can easily adjust the angle. What's cool is that it stands tall, unlike Tesla's horizontal screens. So when you've got the navigation going, you can keep more eyes on the road ahead pretty handy, especially when you're out there exploring, you know? One key thing that everyone's buzzing about is the storage space in this car. The cockpit is ridiculously roomy, offering loads of extra storage, including the whopping 17 liter center console. Can you believe it? 17 liters? Really? You can literally store an entire backpack with your laptop inside or even store multiple full-sized bottles. Right below the screen, there's a sneaky little storage spot they call the My Private Locker. Lift the screen and voila, 
a medium sized storage nook pops up. Perfect for stashing away valuables since it locks up when you close it. It's like having your own secret vault in the car. Even better than the glove box in my opinion. One of the most noticeable design shakeups inside a cockpit is the square steering wheel. It's pretty uncommon for Ford to go with anything other than a traditional round shape even in their sports cars. But in the Explorer, <laughs> well, they went for it. Just above the steering wheel, there is this oddly shaped element, which is the sound system. Now, I know people don't admire this very much, and I feel like it looks too ugly, but I personally appreciate it. It looks nice, especially with the LED light equipped, and on top of that, it is something different, unusual. The seats and most of the interior in this car are wrapped in a man-made leather called Ford Sensico Leather. So not only is this car all electric, but it's also extra eco-friendly, steering clear of any impact on animal species. <laughs> well done Ford. The seats are equipped with both warming and cooling systems as well as air ventilation. The seat positions can be changed manually with electronic buttons. And at the back, there's ample leg room with space for a third passenger to sit back without a worry, thanks to the absence of that bulky transmission box in the middle. I'm really digging the overall concept of the interior, especially with the integrated headrest. And also, how cool is it that the AC controls are always visible on the screen? No more endless button presses to get to the right menu whenever you need it. I think this is where Ford gets ahead of VW. Oh, and let's not forget the option for that awesome glass roof. Behind the Explorer's tailgate, there is this massive 450 liter boot allowing plenty of versatility to the consumer. In fact, the Explorer has 50 more liters of storage in the boot than the Mach-E, giving it even more storage convenience. Ford offers the Explorer in both rear wheel and all wheel drive. The entry level model packs a 55 kilowatt hour battery with a 168 brake horsepower, delivering a range of around 220 miles. For more power, there's a 282 brake horsepower version with a larger 82 kilowatt hour battery providing over 330 miles of range. The top tier Explorer matches the mid-range capabilities but adds a dual motor setup generating up to 400 brake horsepower and offering a range of 305 miles, which is pretty impressive. What's even more impressive is that, regardless of the model you go for, the Ford Explorer can charge from 10 to 80 percent in just under 25 minutes. Price-wise, with a starting price of around $40,000, the Explorer neatly fits in between the $30,000 Kuga and the $50,000 Mach-E. It seems like a sweet spot, offering a balanced choice for those looking for something in between. So, what are your thoughts on the new all-electric Ford Explorer? Would you choose it over the Tesla Model Y?